Aloha everybody, what is really good? Welcome to another RuneScape news coverage video. For this video, we're going to talk more about the monetization in RuneScape as a follow-up to last week based on information from the latest live stream. So without any further ado, let's jump right into the video. Let's go. Yes, this is the Illus. What you talking about, Willis? Alright guys, we're going to go slightly more in depth with the monetization based on the latest live stream this week. Before we get started, I just want to say that Premier Club 2020 will be coming out this Thursday, or tomorrow rather. I will be putting a video out for it that'll give you more information then, so stay tuned for that. But with it, they will have a Premier Pass. I'm not exactly sure how it's going to work, but I imagine it's going to be very similar to the Rune Pass that we've had last year, but will be free for Premier Club members. Aside from that, I know that the Premier club will be the same price as last year they are going to be adding even more things to it to make it more valuable and we'll find out all about that on thursday or tomorrow so moving on let's talk about non-cosmetic worlds this is something that players wanted for a while now they did say last live stream that they don't plan on doing it and it seems like that's the case as well they're sticking to it at least Mod Mike did apologize on stream for sounding very dismissive last week about it, but he does feel that cosmetics are very important to players and it gives them a lot of freedom to express their avatar in ways that are unique to cosmetics. He does remind us that cosmetics aren't just outfits, they're animations, pets, etc. So it does not look like we're getting any non-cosmetic worlds if you're somebody who is really looking forward to that, unfortunately, that's that. Next up, a lot of people on Reddit, etc. had issue with a quote from Mod Mike, or basically a stance. Might be a bit of paraphrasing, but they kept saying that they're not as bad as other companies. Mod Mike understands the frustration from the players. He said it is a bad way of putting it. And what he was trying to say, basically, is that Jagex as a company wants to be more responsible than their peers. They want to be more of a leader because they've been doing this for a while now and not follow what other companies are doing. They've been working closely with Yuki, which is United Kingdom Interactive Entertainment. That's the trade organization for games in the UK and are taking their recommendations as seriously as possible to provide the best experience for microtransactions going forward. So hopefully they start making good changes. One of their big priorities is exploring alternatives to loot crates. They want to be more transparent. They want to reduce the RNG on the players end and offer more choice to what kind of rewards the players can choose from or try to achieve. They want much more focus on cosmetics and addressing issues from problems from previous microtransaction events. Again, this is all words and hopefully we start seeing some real action soon, but it's anybody's guess as to where this goes at this point. Now, as I alluded to earlier, Premier Pass is something coming out tomorrow with Premier Club. So we'll see how that pans out. Also, at the end of this month, they're adding a new experimental type of Treasure Hunter promotion that should fall in guidelines with what they're trying to achieve going forward. They said in December, it's going to be a standard, you know, advent calendar event. So there's not going to be much experimental stuff going forward in that regard. It's going to be tied up with the typical December stuff. But back at January, at the start of next year, they're back to the new types of experimental TH promotions. They got a bunch that they do want to try to explore. So we're going to see some changes very shortly with that. They say last half of 2020 is where they're going to start facing or tackling unifying the different MTX stores. That's like your odd mints, your rare item tokens, rune coins. Try to, you know, unify that system all into one place and hopefully make that your one stop shop for all cosmetics, other microtransaction related things, etc. The last thing I want to touch on for this video is Rune Metrics Pro because people asked about that. The the problem with making that free basically boils down to data storage. If they made it free for everyone, it would be too costly for Jagex, so that's why it currently has a price in addition to membership and stuff. They are looking at ways to mitigate that or create some solutions, which isn't a promise that it will be free in the future, but it's something worth noting and, you know, hopefully we hear more about that and they explore it going forward and we're just gonna have to wait and see. Obviously, in the meantime, if you did not know, it is half off for any players who do have premier club so at least you have that and that looks like that's pretty much it for following up on the monetization again stay tuned tomorrow for premier club information i'll cover that extensively and with that i'm gonna wrap up the video if you enjoyed it hit that like button if you're not subscribed yet and you want to stay updated in all things risk related hit that subscribe button anyways i appreciate you watching i am out aloha